Hi, so we're here today at Royal Wharton Bassett on the canal and uh, I'm here with Steve Bacon, the branch chair and uh, we've got a wonderful machine going to do some dredging today. So tell us about the machine. It's called a truck saw uh, and it's one of those machines that you can, it's like a tank, <laughs> they'll put World War ta One tank, but you can put different uh, attachments onto it and we're using the, uh, the dredger attachment. Tomorrow we'll be using a different one for cutting reeds. That's amazing. It well, is. Obviously we, we've hired this machine. Yeah. Is it quite expensive to hire? <laughs> I'm, it's not that bad. It's going to cost us about £6,000 or so. Uh, that's for a week's work altogether. For those not familiar with the canals, the canals need dredging quite every quite a few years. Yeah. Um, and a lot of silt and a wash builds up in the canal and, and at one point I think you said this is uh, only gets about an inch deep uh, we would never have got a boat down here anymore no. um, so with the dredger it's allowing allowing the depth of the water so we can get the boats through yeah. on the canal and we can dump the silt north of the canal still on the sort of canal land uh, and by summertime you wouldn't even know that we've done the work that's amazing yeah but uh, yes uh, one thing is on health and safety grounds we would normally uh, wear hats and things but uh, uh, if you're on a boat we would normally wear a, a life jacket but it these specialists um, they they have to work at the moment in very cold conditions uh, their rule of thumb is that they don't need a, to wear a life jacket if they're on a canal if it's on open water they would do uh, and as far as they um, hard hats are concerned far better for them to keep warm than to wear a hat that doesn't is not strictly necessary because if they fall off this boat <laughs> you know it, it's going to be pretty bad they yeah. wouldn't it, it probably wouldn't help to have a hard hat on uh, the machine on, on the bank um, has a cage around it so they don't need to have uh, a, a hard hat for that there's a digger there that's taking the silt over further deep into the bank and uh, any any tracks and so on we're gonna wild seed so uh, we're gonna let you have a clip of it in action now okay. you can see from from this is that uh, we've had a bit of a problem with Hancock's water which is a stream that running in, runs into the canal this part of the canal is actually classed as a main river and then goes further east to a spillway and then Hancock's water goes south of here but in the meantime uh, Hancock's water has been, there's been aggregate being washed into it by a, a, a local house builder and uh, it's actually caused the silt to have aggregate in as well and it's twice as dense as it would have been um, if it were just silt. It's Thanks. inert so it doesn't cause any problems but it's just very heavy. Yeah, make it, making the job a lot harder. Yeah, so you can now see how deep that um, the canal is. It, you could. You saw it going into the water there. It's several foot deep now. And then it will get to the edge, bite a bit more off, and uh, another bit will be removed. So we're going to clear the canal up to the bridge. So that's their aim for today. Their target yeah. for today is up to the bridge. That's it. And after that, you'll be able to work, use the workboat Nelson? We, we should do later in the year, but it's a different operation. I don't think Nelson could have dealt with this. No. Um, at its even at its peak yeah um, if we look on the other side you can see that the canal is now quite clear all the way to the far end and we when should last be able... came here this was covered in reed and it, it, it was very blocked so that, <laughs> yes. that's a that's a wonderful clearance job we got there but in the top. last couple of weeks we've had uh, a little a little grebe or a dab chick along here bombing up and down and it was working last week it was still catching fish while the um, truck saw was in, was in motion. And also, uh, at Hancock's Water, there's a, a kingfisher. That oh. just flew in as if nothing was happening. <laughs> so it doesn't affect the wildlife. In fact, it creates the, the environment for the wildlife to return. Yeah. That is not very deep, is it? That is a lot of material in there, isn't <laughs> you it? it? You saw it coming up, yeah. didn't you? It's not a very big shovel, is it? 
It's not, but there again... I suppose it would be the balance of the boat. If it was a yeah. big, big shovel, you'd... You move. have a look at the seat. It moves forward and backwards, balancing as they're going along. Oh, really? Yeah. So as he's got a foreload, the seat moves back to, to buoyance him against the weight in yeah. the Yeah, I don't think this is as bad as it was on Wednesday when it last was here. So should we go down and have a look at it close up? Yeah. What happens now? Well, the seat goes back. <laughs> But I assume that's the weight of the motor in there as yeah. well. That is a lot higher than it was last on Wednesday. And that's the entrance of that's tank hot water, water yeah. which comes in through here, which is causing the problem with the wash, and then obviously down into the spill where yeah. all of them are down the canal down there. Showing that canals are pivotal to, yes. to water control. They certainly are. that the seat moves back to balance the, the machine out. 